Hey, it's Jeff Salzenstein here, and I'm excited to bring this video to you today because I am going to help you solve a common problem that players have with their forehands and their backhands. And it's a universal principle that you're going to want to start practicing. Now first, I have to share the problem. The problem you're having is that you get too close to the ball. So when you swing on your forehand, the ball's coming and maybe you misread it or maybe your mechanics are such that when you swing, you're too close to the ball. You, maybe you're nervous and you're tight, too close to the ball. We call it alligator arms or T-Rex arms. There's no extension, okay? That's the look, right? Or even, or even this. And then on the backhand side, more so on the two-hander, but you'll see players, and I had this problem as well on my backhand, getting too close to the ball, too jammed. So, okay, how do we fix this? How do we correct this? Well, the first thing that I want you to consider is that the opposite of being too close is being too far away from the ball. Okay, stay with me for a moment. So being too far away from the ball. Well, if you're used to being close to the ball when you swing and you're used to controlling, because this comes from just wanting to control and not really trusting your contact points out here and having mechanics that don't support this. How do we get too far away from the ball? Well, we have to create more space. All right, we're gonna focus on space today. So we have to create space when we swing. Well, how do we do that? Well, there's a lot of different ways, different tips and cues you can focus on. And I, wanna, I want you to consider a couple of them today and see if this helps you. So this idea that if you're too close to the ball, we have to get further away from the ball. And in order to get further away from the ball when we make contact is we have to create space. And when you create space, there will be more extension behind your shots, with your shots. And you'll have more drive and more spin. Now, when you go out to try this, you may lose control. You may miss all your forehands and backhands, and that can be a humbling experience. So you're gonna, going to have to stay with this concept and really work on it until you can trust it under pressure. So the first thing that I want you to be aware of is to create more space, you have to be aware of your first move. So when you make your first move, you wanna make sure that your arms get away from your body. So they push away from your body more. If you're used to being in here, or if your off arm is like this, I call this a dead off arm, where it's just kind of hanging here, or like T-Rex arms or alligator arms, you want to get out here. You want to create more space. So you're going to push out with your hands more. Now you know I don't, you can see I don't go totally straight, but I am slightly bent, but I, but I have space. I've created a big ball inside of my arms here. I call it a beach ball. On the backhand side, if you're used to being in here, shoulders raise up, okay, you're gonna drop the shoulders, you're gonna drop the shoulders and you're gonna push your arms away from your body a little bit at the beginning. So now when you do that, you're creating a nice shoulder turn with your backhand, okay? So you're, you're, starting, you're starting further away. Again, you don't wanna be locked, you just wanna push away like this and that helps you create the turn. That's the first thing that can help you with space. You have to get better at your first move. Now the second thing is that when you swing or make contact, you want to practice reaching out towards the net posts. So you're in this position. Now when you go to swing, you have to reach out to the net post over there. You're here, reach out to the net post here. Now, hopefully, and again, this is a whole nother video to make, but when you're in this position, when you drop the racket, hopefully the, the hand and the racket are gonna to come to the inside a little bit here. So if this is outside, this is inside. But again, that's another, another lesson. Uh, what I want you to focus on though is when you go to swing here, as long as your hand is loose, you've gotta swing out towards the net post like this. So I feel like when I'm really trying to improve my contact point, I reach out for the ball like this and I can see the pit of my elbow, I'm visualizing the pit of my elbow up to the sky as long as possible. Most players do this. Where's the pit of the elbow? It's that way. Same with my backhand. If I go like this, pit of the elbow is this way. So when I swing, when I swing out to the net post like this, the pit of my elbows are, is up. So I'm reaching, really reaching. And it requires, again, a lot of trust because most of us, when we hit a backhand, we're gonna go 
like this. Now, a one-hander is different. Much easier to get that extension and to reach out towards the net post with a one-hander. Two-hander, this non-dominant hand takes, tends to take over with a lot of backhands. So when you hit the ball, you have to, you have to feel the reach out towards the net post. Okay. Step number three is your follow through or your finish. If you want to create more space around you, that's the key. When you finish, you want to catch the racket way away from your body on the forehand. And on your backhand, you want to feel like you stop the racket way out here. So this is totally extended, the, the non-dominant arm on the backhand, and then the dominant arm on the forehand, totally extended. So. I see a lot of players swing and then they wrap like this, too close. If you swing, feel like you reach way away from you, like you're making a big circle. So we have space here, we have space here at contact, and we have space out in front there. Notice I'm catching it in front. I can see my hand. Most of you are going to try this and you're going to go behind you. You're going to go behind you. You have to swing and, and see the hand in front of you. I see the hand in front of my above, my, above my eye here, as if I'm swinging up and in an angle over there. On my backhand, I'm reaching out. See how I wanted to come up? I actually didn't finish, I didn't finish in front enough. There, so that time I got my hand in front. So space. Space at contact, see how I came up? So I have the habit on my backhand not to go in front enough. So that time I got it in front more. So there's a little more stiffness in my backhand. That time I, that time I got this hand to turn over and I see my hand in front. So it's a three-step plan to create more space. If you get too close to the ball, you're going to work on your first move to create that beach ball right here. You're going to work on reaching out towards the net post and you're going to work on catching the racket in front where you can see your hand on the backhand side. Create space with your hands. Create a little bit of a ball. It's going to be a smaller ball on the backhand side. One hander, similar. Okay. Then you're going to reach for the ball. Reach for the ball here and then you're going to see your hands in front. You remember when I swung, my hand wanted to come here. We're going to throw that hand out. and. If you follow this three-step formula and you get out there and you toss balls and you work on creating space and reaching for the ball, you're going to notice a completely different sensation. So it's going to require practice, but I can tell you, you're going to be hitting the ball more like the pros and you're going to feel an effortless power that comes with this change that you're going to make with your technique on your forehand and your backhand. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give us a big thumbs up, smash that like button, let everybody know in the world of tennis that we're here to help. We're here to help you get better. And make sure you share the video, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. We have a lot of people that watch our videos that are not subscribed, so why don't you help us out and help us grow the channel so that more people can find out about what we're up to. Thanks so much for your time today. If you'd like to improve your game, we've got a link somewhere in this video take that game to the next level in the description below. We're going to help you with your forehand. We've got some forehand mistakes that you're probably making, so I want to show you what those are. Let's go deeper together. If you res resonate with this message, we'll see you at the next lesson. Thanks for your time today.